Today I'm going to show you two things. I'm going to show you how to attach methods to these buttons so that when the button is pressed, a method is executed. The other thing I'm going to show you is how to add these items like buttons into a panel and to put the panel in the frame. So far, we've been putting the buttons directly into the frame. But as I'll show you today, you'll get a lot more layout flexibility if you first add the buttons to a panel and then put the panels in the frame. That will allow you to overlap the buttons and make them different sizes and give you all kinds of other advantages. Let's look at that right now, the concept of a panel. So let's look at this code here, which is demo number six. And we see that it's similar to the code that we had written below. We create six buttons. But this time, in addition to building the frame, I've also built two panels. I've called them panel one and panel two. And then over here, we're going to set up the frame to have this layout. And then we're going to set up each panel to have its own grid layout. So you can see that the frame has two rows and one column. And the panels, the first panel consists of one row with four columns. And the other panel has one row with two columns. And so what we're going to do is we're going to distribute the buttons. We're going to put four of them in the first panel. And we're going to put two of them in the second panel. And then we're going to put both panels inside the frame. So here I filled up the first panel. Here I filled up the second panel. Here I've added the two panels to the frame. And now I've set up the frame size. And I've made the frame visible finally to the user. So I'll put this back up in a second. But let me start off by showing you how it works. And here is the net result. You can see that the, the top row here represents the first panel and the second row here represents the second panel since you're going to be building a wordle game i think you can see how using the panels and the frame together are going to help you because some of the buttons are bigger than others and so you're going to need this trick so far though the buttons still don't do anything well first of all let me show you one other example this is a slightly different example also using panels and frames this one is a five by two grid. So let me show you that. Here's a lovely five by two grid. And this is another example of putting panels into frames. Here I have an entire array of panels. You see that? I've got a panels loaded up in an array. And each panel represents a row in my grid. And that's why there's five of them, because there's five rows. And I populate the panels here in a loop. So try to use loops for everything instead of individual lines of code. And here, I should have probably used a loop here also, but I just put the buttons in manually. And then here, I am adding the panels to the frame and displaying them. So those are two examples of how to use panels.